The first of nearly 100 million doses of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccines uh, being donated by the European Union by year-end have begun arriving in African countries, a statement by uh, the Gabi Vaccine Alliance said on Monday. Belgium negotiated the deal as part of the bloc's overall pledge to share on at least 500 million doses with lower and lower middle income countries by mid-2022. The first doses have reached Niger, with more doses arriving in a number of countries this week. Ursula von der Leyen, European Commission President, said in the statement that it also listed Guinea, Conakry, Mauritania, the Central African Republic, Djibouti, Nigeria, Togo, and the Republic of Congo as the would-be recipients. Now, hundreds of protesters rallied outside the White House in Washington, D.C. to voice their support for the Ethiopian government and denounce the U.S. government's foreign policy there, seen as sympathetic to rebels fighting Addis Ababa. They held placards expressing support for PM uh, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and also slammed U.S. sanctions on the country and its neighbor Eritrea, which they said were meant to force Abiy to give in to his aggressors. There were similar rallies in London, protesters waving Ethiopian and Eritrean flags and denounced what they termed as Western bullying. The U.S. has sanctioned Asmara for its role in the conflict in Ethiopia. Foreign news now. President Alexander Lukashenko said on Monday, Belarus seeks no confrontation with Poland, but wants the European Union to take in 2,000 migrants stranded on its borders. The European Union accuses Belarus of flying in thousands of people from the Middle East, pushing them to cross into the EU via Poland, Lithuania and Latvia in response to EU sanctions imposed over Lukashenko's uh, crushing of protesters against his disputed re-election. Lukashenko, as quoted by the state-owned news agency, said he did not want things to escalate. We need to get through to the polls, to every poll, and show them that we are not barbarians, and that we don't want confrontation. We don't need it, because we understand that if we go too far, war is unavoidable. End of quote. Indian farmers held a mass rally on Monday to demand minimum support prices be extended to all produce or produce, not just rice and wheat. The protest movement launched by farmers more than a year ago became the most serious political challenge to the government and resulted in Modi making a surprise commitment on Friday to roll back the reforms. Thousands gathered for the latest rally in Lucknow, the capital of Uttar Pradesh, India's most popular state, where Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party will seek to hold onto power in state elections due early next year. In a letter addressed to Modi on Sunday, the main farmers' body said, quote, minimum support price based on the comprehensive cost of production should be made a legal entitlement of all farmers and for all agricultural produce.